Good morning, guys. This has already been painted, obviously. It's just a terracotta pot, as you can tell by the inside. And this is the Americana Chalky Finish Paint, the color called Refreshing. And I took this clay pot from looking like this to where it now looks like this. Now you'll notice that some of this clay pot has glitter on it and some parts of it do not. This whole video, it's miraculous that it even got made yesterday because what a day I had. So I will probably show you some mistakes I made along the way. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I have an important question slash announcement to make. Uh, and I'd like you guys to help me with that. So with all of that said, here is how I made this clay pot. So the camera wasn't working properly when I painted this just regular old terracotta pot with the chalky finish. Now it's recording. So what I did was I took the deco art paints in these colors. This is called Sea Aqua. This one is called titanium white, all in the Deco Art Americana series, and this one is called Laguna. So what I did, and I had seen this done directly on a clay pot on a blog post years ago. I for had forgotten about it, but I said, let me try it this way. I lined three colors up, these three colors, right next to each other. I then took a nice soft bristle brush, and you can see it's a little wider, and I ran it through the paint and then ran it over the pot. Now, you don't want to do too much of the brushing because it will get rid of your lines and the blending, and we just want a nice subtle blend here. And I knew these colors would not get muddy. I knew that this would be a nice combination, the three of them. Now you want to remember too, when you're using napkins, you have to make sure that the paint color is light enough so that you can put your napkins over this. So in other words, you don't want to use something like deep burgundies or rich purples or navies when you're using napkins for decoupage. They're too sheer and you'll be able to see right through them. So once I finished painting that, I took the Americana Deco Art, uh, the metallics paint in Peacock Pearl. Then this is just one more color, but I knew that it complemented these other colors really well. And I used the same brush because there was no need to switch brushes. And I just kind of carefully went around the rim of the pot. And it's really a nice surface. The chalky finish underneath. It was really a nice base. And you can see how, again, it just added another color to the three colors that are already in there and a little bit of a metallic shine to it. So I just went around this surface and finished painting the top and I put this aside to dry. And here's where I started to get into a little trouble. Now, I've shown you how to cut these napkins before by taking a piece of scrap paper, and I usually use the catalogs that I get in the mail, and open the napkin. And what I do first is I pull away one of the layers. Most napkins are three layers. Some of them are two. So what I did was I always take a little bit of water, dampen my fingertips, and I go to the edge of the napkin, press there, and pull away one of the layers, that bottom layer. I then used my repositionable glue stick. I keep trying to get that in focus. And what I did was I placed it down over this piece of scrap paper. You really should be working in a much smaller section than I am. The best thing to do is cut this piece of scrap paper in half, put only half the napkin on it and work that way because you really need to cover the whole surface with the glue stick. I then cut out a small section of the napkin and began to cut. And all of that's fine. So far, so good. Cut away all of the pieces that I didn't need. You can see this is pretty intricate cutting. Dampened my fingertips and I went back in to remove the other layer of paper. 
Now, I was having a hard time doing this. I was finally able to pull it away, and I thought, oh, I guess this napkin only had two layers, and I really didn't need to remove that other layer. So, not to confuse you, this was just all part of my process yesterday. It was just, it was such a bad day, I almost didn't make the video. I was in tears at one point. I said, I'm not going to do this. It would took hours and what a mess. In any case, if you're watching this and you're saying, wow, she's making a lot of mistakes. It was that kind of day and I, I wanted to get this video out for you guys. So this is an indoor clay pot, by the way. This is not waterproof. It's not one to go outside. I'm just going to put a plastic pot inside of it with a flower in it or a plant and this is just to keep inside. I do have other videos showing you how to waterproof these but you can't use the triple thick if you're going to use it outside. That, that's not a waterproof UV proof product. So uh, for the purposes of this video, let me continue on. I cut out the rest of my images, these pretty little birds, and put everything aside after I separated the backs and then I went into decoupage. So of course I used my DecoArt napkin decoupage glue. I poured a little bit out of my plate and I began to decoupage the rest of my napkins and I decoupaged everything on here. I did have a couple of wrinkles but I wanted to mention when you're doing this the right way, you want to start in the center. You see how I have three little pieces here? The branches are kind of delicate. So what I did was I went first to the bird and I decoupaged that. You want to start in the center and work your way out. Then I went over to one of the flowers. Now I went over to this flower. So I just want to make sure I'm not being rough with the brush and the decoupage glue. Because it's napkin decoupage glue, it's a huge help. It's much uh, a much gentler decoupage glue. It's not heavy or creamy where it will rip the napkin. So I finished decoupaging this. And now that it's dry, I took my triple thick, by the way, I have a little wax paper here to make it easier to open the lid because sometimes the lid gets stuck on there. So I just put a sheet of wax paper over it when I'm opening and closing that jar. And I added the triple thick. Now here's another problem that I had. Uh, there, the phone was ringing. I had to get moving. This was going on forever. I had someone coming over. I was not paying attention, and with triple thick, you have to know how much of it to use. You don't want to put on a huge heavy amount, and I accidentally put gobs on here. I kept adding. I was talking in the background, and another thing that I did wrong was I kept going over and over the same area, which is definitely a no-no with the triple thick. You're supposed to apply it leave it on and then move on. Now I was able to save this, so that's okay. At first I told my husband about it and he said, well, just start all over. And I said, start all over. <laughs> I'm telling him, I've been working on this for five hours. I'm not going to throw it away or start over. And you'll notice in the final clip of the video, this is how this looks dried. I'm pretty happy with it. A couple of areas looked a little too rough, so what I ended up doing was where I had applied the triple thick and I overdid it, I ended up adding a little more triple thick, a very tiny amount, and sprinkling some glitter over it. This way I could show you how it looks with glitter and how it looks without glitter. But the other thing that I was doing was covering up a couple of my mistakes because you could see kind of what looked a little lump, like lumps, clear, glossy lumps. So do as I say, not as I do. I really kind of messed up a lot of this project. I'm happy I was able to get it done. Here I am editing today. I'm really happy with the way the paint turned out. and. 
I will have links below to all of the products. I will try to find these particular napkins. If I can, I'll post them. If I can find all of the colors that I used, I will post those in the links along with the decoupage scissors, which are very important. And all of my links for purchases go through Amazon. So if you've got Amazon Prime, you qualify for all of those same benefits. The other thing is if you have any other shopping to do, you don't need to sign out or worry that you just have to get what you need of mine and then sign out and go back in. You could just continue on shopping. There's no problem with that. Amazon makes it as easy as possible. So here is the question I wanted to pose to you. I have been doing decoupage for about three or four decades and I have acquired napkins all through the years and I normally buy a whole package of napkins and use three or four of them. <laughs> what I am asking from you is please let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in my having a contest so that I can send these napkins out to you. So I will be including uh, new subscribers, current subscribers, people that are on my Facebook page. And if you're interested, let me know. I will run the contest and I'll give you some more information depending on the information that I get from you guys. So please comment down below and let me know what you think. Please also don't forget to subscribe. That keeps us going. I am so close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. It helps me when you share these videos, whether that's on your own Facebook page with your friends and family. You can share them on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, or any of the other new social media sites that have come out that I'm not aware about. I just don't allow mass sharing. Sometimes these huge companies contact me and ask me if they can use my videos, which I do not do. So there's no permission for that. But you that you the those. Uh, wow, talk much. Those of you who are my friends, who uh, watch my videos, stick with me, give me these beautiful comments. You're more than welcome to share. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I will see you guys next week hopefully with a more smooth running video and project. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.